Let's see how we can drill down recurring revenue and see the properties in terms of committed auto renewal, milestones, active renewal, and so on. Yeah, what I did is I went into the recurring revenue tab like this. I selected MRR, for example, and let me just see it finish off. Yeah, there we go. And we have MRR by country. Let's say if I instead want to see the total MRR for these four countries that I have filtered on, and I want to break down on the properties such as committed and auto renewal and so on, I can keep my selection on MRR and instead I will switch the dimension from country to on the bottom. Type description is how we split these properties. Um, on MRR. Normally we want to see these together in one chart so let's put them together by enabling the stacked chart like this and now we can see in the same chart we see the light blue color is the committed and followed by the dark blue auto renewal and uh, the sorting of the chart can be adjusted by Clicking in the table below, so now you have committed uh, on top, but uh, I think normally this is what you want to see, where you can see how the committed MRR increases until we pass the present month and starts to decline and auto renewal is uh, starting to increase for the future months. For real life implementations, of course, we would have more dimension values here, active renewal or milestones. If we take it from start, I, what I did was I changed from my default dimension for drill down and I think we had country before, it could have been a legal entity which I think is the default one. So instead of grouping my MRR by, by legal entity, I changed this to the type description and then I uh, enabled stacked charts.